Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to go over a review of how to use the functions that are available within Excel to help you to accomplish tasks. In this particular assignment, we need to find the count of the number of values that are in this column E here. We need to find the average or the mean, the standard deviation, min and max and range. Now you can do that manually. You can take this column, click on it, and then go to data and then sort it to put it in a highest to lowest, lowest to highest to find the min and max that way. But that's kind of clunky way to do it in slow. Instead, we're going to just click in this first cell there, B, and I'm going to type in an equal sign. And now I've got an option there. If, if I know I want to use a function, I can go up here to the insert function and click on that, and it'll bring up a dialog box. And the only problem is, is that this list right now, you know, all of the functions that Excel has, the search box I don't find very helpful because you've got to give it the exact name, it seems to me. Uh, in this case, we're interested in statistical functions. If we click on this drop down, we can see a lot of different types there. And again, we want statistical. And then you can scroll down until you find the one you want. There's count. And I'm going to click OK. And it brings up a dialog box that you can use to help you utilize that function. And it gives you information and it gives you help on the, the function. The other option, again, is just to click in a cell, click equal. And in this case, I want count. So I'm just going to start typing count, C-O-U. And then Excel starts offering up things that are similar to that. And I find this is the easiest way to, to call up a function once you've used it a couple times. I'm going to double click on count. And now we've got some uh, a little bit of instruction on how to use it. Right there, there's a link. And if I click on that link, it will take me slowly to information about that function. And on some of these pages, Microsoft has a video that will show you more information about using that function. The other option, and the one I use, and I think you will use after you've used Excel a while, is just click the equal. And in this case, I want to count. So I'm just going to start typing count, C-O-U. And Excel will start offering up the functions that it thinks you're interested in here. And as you can see, there's several different types of counts. I want to get into that. I just want a simple count of cells that have numbers, which is what this first one is. So I'm going to double click on that. And it enters the function and gives me the opening parentheses. Now when I'm inside those parentheses, I need to give it the range of values. And I want this column E. So I am going to start there in E1. I want to go down to the bottom. Now this is a long column of numbers and you can just drag down if you want to find it. But another trick, use the control shift down arrow and it will take you down to the very bottom of the column numbers. You can see we've got 400 numbers there. Now you can use some other controls to get you back to the top, but I, I sometimes find that a problem. So I just use my uh, cursor there and I'm going to click here and insert the final closing parentheses and hit enter. And now I've got my count there, 400 values. For the mean in Excel, we just use average. So I'm going to click equal A, V, E, and then I see average come up double click that and I do the same thing there to get my range and I'm going to use a shortcut here I know there's nothing in this column except my data so I'm just going to put an E colon E to select everything in column E now you only do this if you know what's in that column so I feel pretty good there the next thing is standard deviation equal S T and it's offering me some functions here. Now I see a standard deviation dot P. Let me click on that. And it says the cal calculates the standard deviation based on the entire population. Now this is a sample. And if it is your entire population, you would use STDEV dot P. 
But since I have a sample, I'm going to use this function. Double click that. And again, I'm going to use my shortcut E column uh, colon E close parentheses. And now I've got my standard deviation for those values. Min is similar, equal, M, I, and there is my min function, E colon E parentheses again. And there's my max, equal, M, A, there's max, E colon E. And remember, this is just a shortcut. If you've got a smaller range of values, you would highlight and drag it. So there's my max. And my range is just equal to the difference, max minus min. So here's how to use those basic functions to get some descriptive statistics that you can use in other problems. So I hope this helps.